Hello and welcome back to my FIFA 13 Leicester Career Mode Episode 3. I'm NRF Gamer and let's jump straight into it. We have our first, well, our third game of the season against Nottingham Forest. Uh, we did make a couple of changes to the team. We replaced Drinkwater with King and we replaced Knockhart with Marshall. I think they're the only changes. Uh, only due to fatigue, nothing... I didn't really want to change the team up. I thought we've been playing pretty well, obviously. Our last game, we did get that 5-1 win against Crystal Palace away from home, which I was very happy with. Uh, and since I've started doing this career mode, I, I've i actually been thinking about maybe following Leicester a bit more, like trying to find out a bit more about the club. When I did choose them, I had no idea. I didn't really know anything about the team I decided to start this career mode with, I just choose them, I think I mentioned before, because of their lovely transfer kitty I got at the start of the season. So yeah, maybe that's something I'll do. I mean, I don't think I'll be watching many games, but I'll certainly keep up to date, see how they're doing in the championship. Uh, and I think that'll probably just, it'll maybe add to, uh, oh, there you go, uh, early conceded goal, straight from kickoff. I think it's Andy Reid, I don't know, but yeah, on my part, just bad defending but in the seventh minute we counter attack it, we, it didn't take us long to get back in I think it was Dave Nugent with a really nice volley and early stage already two goals and it was 1-1 but yeah, as I said before I think if I start getting interested in Leicester start following them more I probably uh, just care about more about the team and then Hopefully it will add that extra little bit of excitement into my career mode. That, not that I'm not enjoying it. William Barber with the effort which actually comes to nothing. And from here on out it was really a 50-50 game. I had a few chances, they had a few chances here as you can see with Gallagher blazing over the bar. I think he was actually a guy who sold to them. I don't know if you saw at the start of the match but the commentators were focusing on this player a lot. And I think it's because we actually sold him to Nottingham Forest. But William Barbio down the left hand side with the shot didn't come to nothing and we came in at half time with the scores at 1-1 but straight from the off William Barbio again who's been so far fantastic this season he does get fouled Dave Nugent with the effort and the keeper has to do a really nice save and we win the corner and this corner I believe at the start it actually came to nothing but we kept the pressure on Sally wins the ball back we do try the attempt through ball, didn't quite make it, but Vilhena keeps the pressure, left footed dry, bottom left hand corner of the goal, and that's his second goal of the season, and we are now 2 on up against Nottingham Forest, and hopefully we could maintain that result until the end of the match. Uh, uh, so, sorry guys, I'm actually watching the US office in the background, I freaking love that program, love Michael Scott, boom. Uh, so yeah, they had a few more chances. But for the most part, we were playing pretty solid. Not not a best performance, but here we do decide to make the substitution. We take Vilhena and a couple of other guys off. I'm not sh I'm not quite sure who I took off. Vilhena and Sali, two key players, and I didn't want them to get fatigued, so we just replaced them. And here with the corner, boom, great header. Poor defending on my part, but not a lot I think I could do about that. So here, it was getting late on as you can see and we were really trying to get this goal but we just couldn't find it until the 90th minute, one minute at a time, lovely ball from Dyer who plays it through to Marshall, he just squares it to, I think it's Futark, Futark and we get that goal in the 90th minute, no coming back for Nottingham Forest and we win the game 3-2. Yeah, there you go, as you can see, Futax, Vilhena and Nugent with the goals. Man of the match was Araujo. The results there, I'm not going to read them out, you guys can see them for yourself. But yeah, Araujo, I, if if that's how you pronounce his name, I haven't got a clue. Uh, but he's been really solid to start of the game. I know we haven't actually started the game, start the season. He's been really solid and I've enjoyed playing with him. He's a really strong player. Uh, here we do get that offer for Richie Wellens, who we've actually been trying to get rid of for the start of the season. We ask for that little bit extra cash with the 220 grand. I think they should match that. Every little counts for us though at the moment. We want to win that left back. I think it was Martinez we were trying to sign before. He actually accepted a contract offer, but we just didn't have the money to pay them. And here we get a loan offer for the young 17 year old. Not going to try and pronounce her name. I will just embarrass myself. But hopefully he can come back next season as a much stronger player. At the moment, 
he just he's not going to fit into the side but here we have another really tough game at this early stage in the season away to Birmingham who I fully expect to be competing with at the top for that championship title so first Crystal Palace wait now Birmingham we've got a really tough start but so far we've maintained that 100% record and we were hoping to get a win again today uh, I'll just quickly talk about briefly good news for everyone involved with Liverpool Football Club we finally won a game we didn't draw we didn't lose uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that, so maybe that'll give me that extra bit of motivation and I'll be uploading more of my Liverpool career. We'll, we'll have to see. I'm st I am still getting gameplay, but I just haven't been editing episodes because, as I've mentioned countless times, um, the software's just fucking up every time I try and upload the same clip. But, back to the Leicester game. Oh, I think this is just the start of the game, isn't it? Yeah, nothing came of it. But not a lot happened in this game, to be honest, guys. Uh, there are a couple of chances here and there, but definitely not my best game, not my most entertaining game. We were really lucky to get away with that. Birmingham, they were really nice attacking, but I found that they weren't actually too strong defending. Obviously, Sally just breaks away straight away. Didn't actually come to anything. They managed to clear the lines. But obviously, come up to half time, and that was pretty much all that had happened in the whole of the game. They got another little break, cut inside, but I didn't think anything came of it as they blazed over the bar. But I, oh, I thought they came to a corner. I guess not. But on the stroke of half time, we win it back with Sali, plays it to Nugent, lovely through ball, and check out this, boom, bottom left hand corner. And this guy Sali, he's a really important player for us at the moment. He has been. For me, the best buy of the season. I think he only cost us £1 million and he has been on absolutely scintillating form so far. Uh, but yeah, as you saw, we went into half time with the scores at 1 0. A, a few more things happened. We had a nice little through ball to Barry, Bar, Barbio. Oh, I, I will learn these names, I promise. <laughs> this is, I've bought a load of players and I can't pronounce half the names, it's pissing me off call him Sally or Sally lovely dip inside from him and this is what I mean what a goal that is nice at least 25 yard drive into the bottom right hand got bottom right hand corner of the goal and we're in the driving seat now at 2-0 but again coming back to that Sally we have to keep this guy I'm really pleased I didn't go for anyone else I think I was at some, I did put uh, another bid in for a different striker but I don't think I showed you guys because I knew we weren't going to get him in the first place but we do make the substitution again just I didn't want my players to get fatigued so we brought on Danzen, Koncheski for Opari and Sali Sali's got his two goals I'm happy with that we were pretty comfortable didn't look like losing the game a really nice lob through ball there but the keeper saves it and they managed to clear the lines and coming towards the end of the game you know they they were pressing but didn't look too threatening but they did manage to break my defence apart at this instant. Through ball. I thought I dealt with it. But no. They got a lucky break. And that's 2-1 in the 82nd minute. Someone Burke. I don't know. Chris. Let's call him Chris. Chris scores against us. Grab the ball to run back. But the scores did end at 2-1. Sally bagging a double for us. Don't know why they thank a cash for Michael. Because he played shit again. Didn't have anything to do. And he already let a goal in. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not hating on him. I just... He, he's not good enough. I'm really hoping to get a different keeper. But there are the results for you guys. Not going to read them out. Same as before. But I think that did leave us at the top of the table after that 5-1 win, 3-2 win, 2-1 win. And boom, we did manage to sell that player. Um, I guess it was that centre mid. I can't remember his name. Names. Uh, but yeah, we managed to put in this contract offer for Alex Martinez. Finally, we needed that left back. He came back and actually declined it despite offering, I think we offered 6.5 grand, we upped it by that one extra grand, 7.5, 10% for four years, if we didn't accept that, I was going to give up on him and I'd have to look elsewhere, but I think that is the end of the episode guys, if you enjoyed please do feel free to drop a like and until next time, see you later.